Hey everybody, my name is Alex. In this video series, we are going to go through the steps of getting Post CLI installed and a multi GPU setup running. Now, I'm just going to be running two GPUs, but you could scale this to as many GPUs as you can fit into a single host. There's actually going to be another video where we're using multi host, but for just this video, we're going to be doing a single PC. And we'll start out with getting post CLI installed. So there's a few other videos that I have that go over this, but I want this video series to be end to end. So we will start out by making sure our system, as we always do, is up to date. And I think this one is, but it's always good to check. Almost every time I check, there's updates that are needed. And this one does. So I'll speed through this for you so you don't have to watch me install updates. And when it's done, we'll get back to it. All right, and we're back. Now, very similar to getting updates, we're now going to do our uh, dependencies. So we're going to do sudo apt install CL info to get our GPU information, NVTOP for monitoring, NVIDIA driver for our drivers, Tmux for our session management, and unzip so we can unzip files. So let's get going. All right, we are back from installing our dependencies, and we will do sudo reboot now just to make sure we are good to go. After you install the NVIDIA drivers, typically you need to reboot before your video card will be detected. So let's reboot and see if we have two GPUs. All right, we are back in our system. We have updated everything. Let's do CL info L. And we have our two GTX 1070s that we're gonna be using in this example. So the next thing we're gonna do is get post CLI installed. And to do this, we're going to want to go to the latest releases. And to do that, you, I will post a link to the GitHub for that, but it's very simple to find the latest releases. Let me bring up Chrome here. It takes just a moment while I find the right window to share. All right, so we are on the GitHub repo for Space Mesh OS and the latest version right now, if we're looking at releases and you can always find the releases by going to the main GitHub page and then going to releases here on the side. And we're gonna right click, copy link address, and then we're gonna bring it back over here into the terminal and we're actually going to make a directory first called post CLI. We're going to CD into that post CLI directory. We're going to do wget and paste in the URL. We are going to download. We can do ls to see that we've downloaded post CLI Linux and we will do unzip post CLI Linux ls. We see we have three new files here. We're going to actually remove the post CLI Linux.zip because we don't need it anymore. And then we are going to make post CLI executable by doing ch mod plus x post CLI. And at this point, we should be set. And what I like to do just to verify is do dot post CLI. That's how you do the uh, execute the ex executable and do dash print providers and you should see all of your GPUs here. So take note of ID 0, that's going to be provider 0 later on. ID 1, that's going to be provider 1. So we need to know what providers we're going to be using because when we actually execute the commands to start smashing, you're going to be putting in your provider. So take note of those two IDs. Typically it's going to be 0, 1 and then if you have you know a third GPU it'll be 2, a fourth GPU it'll be 3. Uh, because typically in coding and technical stuff like this, they always start at zero. So note those providers, and in the next video, we will actually get post CLI set up. We're going to go through exactly how to calculate the number of files that each GPU will be uh, smashing. So we'll cover everything there, and I'll see you in the next video.